this is home. <laughs> Lane's done a great job as your chairman. I thank you. I had the honor about 20 years ago to serve in that very capacity and really start my political career here in Georgia. On a serious note, on March the 16th, 1966, uh, and some of you folks, young folks, weren't even born then, but, uh, and some of you old folks are lying. <laughs> One right there. Uh, I raised my right hand took the oath to the United States government and commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. Okay. Right. Right. December the 7th of that year, I went to Vietnam and served my country with the 1st Marine Division as an artillery officer. And if you see me and you're talking to me and I don't look like I understand what you're saying, it's because I left a lot of my hearing in Southeast Asia. But that was when I began a commit, commitment of making certain that words were translated into action. Right then, I said, I'm going to serve my country. The young men and women that I saw in Vietnam who served with me, and an awful lot of them were killed in action. Many of them were wounded. I had the good fortune of not being wounded. As I say, I, don't, I do have hearing problems, but that's not the concern. It's the idea of paying back to every American the responsibility of my birth, which was to step forward, serve my country in the capacity. I served in this party. You name it, I think I've done just about everything with the party, including Lane's job, state committee, state executive committee, general counsel for the state party. And then in 2000, I had one of those calls that comes to you and that our state senator down in Columbus, Clayland, said, I'm not running for re-election. And the question was said, well, who's going to run? And you know the old rule in politics, Lane, if you can't find a candidate, you become the candidate. And I had a tough election, but I was fortunate, and the citizens of Muskogee County and uh, Harris and the surrounding counties around Columbus elected me to serve the Senate. We've been through some tough times. I was up there in the minority party, and I can tell you right now, I don't want Georgia ever to be in control of the Democratic Party ever, ever, ever again. And you are the people that can make that happen. Now, John was on the stage just a second ago, and I came up to him today, and we've been friends and known one another for, oh gosh, 30 years. And I told him, I said, you know, John, I want your job. And he said, I could have it. <laughs> okay. But, kidding aside, I'm announcing my candidacy to run for the insurance commission of the state. I want to follow in some big shoes and some good footsteps, because I want to make certain that we do the following. Insurance is a huge industry but I want to make sure the good people thrive. And when I say that, this is what I mean. Every one of you know there's some fraud by people who file false claims. And when somebody files a false claim, they're stealing from everyone in the room that has a policy with that insurance company. And the other side of the coin, there's some insurance companies out there, even with the best of regulations, that are crooked too. And folks, my concentration will be on that group of bad actors. And I will do everything in my power to do everything to run off, prosecute, do whatever else is necessary to pursue the fraud on the individual side and pursue the fraud on the company side. And when somebody is stealing from you, lying, cheating, and stealing, they're going to have an enemy with that Marine Seth Hart. And I can tell you, you can talk to guys in the legislature who served with me, you don't want to be on the bad side of Seth Hart. But thank you all for giving me the opportunity to serve. I ask your support, and I hope every one of you, as we go through this process, we're just now getting started. We're setting up the campaign and everything else as that process goes. But my goal is one thing, is to protect the people of Georgia so that we have quality insurance 
because everyone in this room depends on it in one form, whether it's property and casualty or life insurance, you name it, we need our health insurance. And obviously we're going to have some great upheavals in health insurance with uh, Obama's uh, magic that he's going to throw down on us. And my, my belief in capitalism, I believe in the process of companies working for you and doing a good job. That's what I'm going to run on. That's what, how I will govern when I'm the insurance commissioner. But I need your help once again. Thank you, and as I say, I appreciate all your help.